Hey everyone, I've reached the end of the second week for my Freedom Fight run, so I'm going to open almost all the boosters. I wanted to keep it a little more fair. Uh, I've been keeping track of how many... Uh, for a couple weeks after the client claim out, there was doubled, doubled rewards, right? So you get two boosters and extra tickets, which is why I have so many damn tickets. Uh, and I, I counted up how many, how many days I spent playing with the double rewards and figured out how many boosters I earned from them. So I had gotten 15 boosters just from the extra boosters I got. So I'm only going to open, what, 36 of these today? And I'll just save the rest of them because I want people, I want this to be more applicable that you can do it without double rewards. And the tickets doesn't matter at all. I got 45 tickets without double rewards, but like I have so many tickets from uh, doing well in drafts that uh, worrying about tickets is not really relevant. But opening cards is, so I'm just going to just save 15 of those and they'll just be on the count forever. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, 51 packs, opening boosters. So we got a Legion Sarge, which is really nice. I'm planning on building like a uh, sort of a Uterra Yeti deck for the, this free-to-play run. So Legion Shard is a super nice card to have for that. Uh, one of the cards I definitely want. Cultivate, garbage. Most of these cards are garbage. And then we got... Ooh, a Scythe of Chiron. That's a really good legendary. Uh, really, really good in a lot of... Uh, it's good in some control decks, like uh, Crypt... Not, what's it called? The the Vampire That Drains Life. I don't remember what it's called. It's good in that deck, and it's okay in Zombies. Uh, I like. I played it last time in Zombies. It's pretty fun. Uh, this pack's... Tw tw Chaos Twister's fine, but I have infinite of those from Draft anyway. So we'll just hit Reveal. I'm tired of clicking. Mastodon's okay. Could, pretty good in Dinosaur decks. Then we've got... A Legion Titan and a Gemhide Basher. Neither of these cards are good. A Venom Strike, good poison decks. Victory Rush and Stolen Brand, not too hot. Let's see. Um, Warhound Raider, I've got infinite of those, but it's by far the best card in this pack. It's pretty good in constructed and raid decks. Torrent, which is garbage. The Ignition's Drawn is garbage. Uh, Nexus Gunner is not good, unfortunately. Ooh, a Nexus Aeronaut isn't. Excellent, excellent Alolan card. Uh, really, really good in a bunch of aggressive Alolan decks. I think I've played it most often in robots. It's not really a robot, it's a human. But it works really well in there with the uh, the different buff effects you can have. I like it. I think it's a solid card. You can't really go wrong playing it. None of these cards that we're talking about... Evanbound Warlord is actually really good in Unheroic. Because uh, it's so... Its effect is so good and it levels so well. Uh, these cards are not good. Let's... Ooh, Frost. I feel with so many legendaries in these packs. Gracious. And they're so good, too. Like, Frost Dragon Dragon's an excellent. Well, it used to be really, really ubiquitous. It used to be uh, 5, 6, 9, 11, 16, 17, or 15, 19, or something. 16, 19, maybe? It was, like, gigantic. If you if you played it at the end of rank three and then you got an egg, you just like won the game because it, it was too many dragons to deal with. Uh, but they fixed it. It's not as good in rank uh, three anymore. Uh, another cultivate. I could make quite the plant deck. I just need to open Duadas now. Uh, these cards aren't that good. What is that? Venomous Nether Scale. It's okay in poison decks. Uh, nothing special, but you can play it. This is a another Nexus Bubble. Uh, uh, Nexus Bubble is not really playable anywhere. I played it in Robots a couple times, just to get armor for Gauntlet of Solgrim, but it's not even that good. Like it, it's okay. You can play it if you want to. I don't think it's bad, but it's, you're probably better off not playing it. Leyland Demon's a really solid card if the format is conducive to uh, lots of free spells, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Because it's, it's it has so bad stats at rank one, it's really worth only playing if you get it for free. Uh, these cards are not good. And there's a these cards are not good either. I've opened so many legendaries. I just kind of expect the rest of the packs to be garbage, like that one was. And this one also nothing good talking about. Uh, pummel packs okay. Usually not played in standard, but it sees play in like unheroic and. Not unheroic. Yeah, yeah, unher unlegendary. Uh, meh. These cards are m mediocre. 
Umber Clasher is pretty good. It's used played in raid decks now. Since it's so big at rank 1 and it, uh, it's a Rift Lasher, it's a really good effect for uh, most of those decks. So another another legendary, but this one's garbage, <laughs> thankfully. Well, I, I would kind of feel bad if I just opened only good card, only good legendaries, because there are a lot of bad legendaries in Soul Forge. Uh, but Zithian Shambler is certainly a horrible. It's an abomination that has to kill other creatures to get bigger, and then they kill that with just a removal spell, and you feel really sad because you've killed your own creatures to make it good. Sparkstone Elementals, okay in wall decks, pretty good in unhero uh, unheroic wall decks. Nether Scales. Nether Drake is okay. It's it's it spawns a four eight fifteen that kills whatever it comes in front of, but it's pretty hard to control, and I don't like the card very much. It's it's used play every now and then, but I don't really think it's anything special. Uh, Flow Steel Prototype is the worst legendary in Soul Forge, so don't worry about you know we're looking for that one. Uh, Venomous Nether Scale already talked about that. Dendrify is a card I really needed, though I think it's in the it's in the draft format, so I probably have plenty of them. Uh, Ortec Battlebrand's a really good rare. Kind of wish it was in the draft format. It would be a boon to the Ortec decks, which currently only have Steel Spark Tinkerer as a, a leveler, which is not a good card. Swamp Moss Ancient's actually fine in uh, Dinosaur decks. It's a seven seven for just you know straight a seven seven. Gem Hunter Ravager's not that good, unfortunately. I really like that card. I think the last, I think one more pack is all I can open. I think this is, yeah, these cards, these cards are bad. I opened a lot of legendaries. Yeah, 15, nice. I was keeping track, so that's why I was taking a little longer this time. So yeah, thanks, thanks for watching this pack opening. I'll, I'll write out like in the blog post. I'll link it in the description. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll write out what I opened in case you're not into like. I know if you got to the end of the video, you probably watched the whole thing, but still. I, I like writing out the uh, the important cards because not everyone likes watching like a seven minute video to see what people open for packs. I could just I'll just write out a summary in that article and y'all can check it out if you want to check out the uh, the free to play run. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all for the next time I end up doing a draft.